Hey everyone, it's PresleyAdictiveGames.com here, and today is Science Sunday, and we are going to be trying to turn my phone into a microscope. So I got this idea from PBS Digital's Anna Rothschild. There'll be a link in the description to where you can see the original video. And we really love PBS Digital, and they're putting out some of the best educational content on YouTube right now. And we love people like Nessie Hill and Joe Hansen or Jay to the Izzo. And I'm actually representing PBS with my PBS Digital shirt that I think I got at VidCon a couple years ago. Don't know if it was my first or second year, but yeah, um, I really do love their content. So you should definitely check out their content as well as this video. So we were really, really excited when we saw this video because it was this really cool experiment that you could do at home and we really wanted to try it. So here we are. So the first thing you'll need is obviously a phone with a camera because how can you turn some a phone into a microscope without a phone? So with a camera on it. And then you're going to need a laser pointer. We have a couple of laser pointers right here. And we're going to steal the lens out of one of these laser pointers. So we're going to take the lens out of one of these and we'll show you what it looks like. All right, so this is the lens that was inside of the laser pointer. I had no idea that laser pointers had little lenses like this, um, but now I do know. So I'm really excited to start to actually work with this and turn my phone into a microscope. So I'm gonna put it down. And then um, what you're gonna need is a little bit of um, ma mounting putty, also known as poster putty. And you're just gonna roll it out into like the little Play-Doh snake that we all have made at one point in our lives. And we're just gonna roll it out. Now we're just gonna wrap it around the lens. So now that we have the little lens wrapped, we're going to actually put it on the phone camera. So we're just gonna kinda put it on right where we need it. You need to make sure that the convex or more curved and kind of bulging side of the lens is facing up, otherwise it won't work. So we're going to just kinda smush it in just a tiny bit. Don't smush it in too much. All right, so there you have it. You have a microscope. Just by putting the lens from the laser pointer on your camera lens, you just made a microscope. And just launch a camera app, and then you can kind of see from the microscope. And the hardest part with this microscope is to get the right focus, because your camera lens won't focus anymore. So you have to kind of control the distance. Uh, the easiest way to do it is just to kind of play around with your finger a little bit until you've got the right distance. So I actually found a scratch on my finger that I I didn't even know existed, which is kind of cool and kind of gross, but I suppose that's why it was on the Gross Science channel. So now we're going to make a stand and some slides so you can set this up and you can look at some really, really cool stuff. So to start, we're going just to take a flashlight and bounce a piece of paper on it. And then we're going to take um, some little cuts from plastic. Uh, this plastic was left over from our holograms video. There'll be a link in the doobly-doo to that holograms video. And then we're just going to put it right on top of the paper. And then we're going to put whatever we want to look at on there. And then just put the other piece of the slide on top. And then there we, there we go. We can start investigating what we have there from here. And then you're just going to need to make like a little bit of a stand. Uh, we just stacked some books on a Tinkercrete box um, just so you can keep it at the right height and you don't have to keep moving it around while trying to look at your cool stuff. So now let's put some cool stuff under there and take a closer look at some everyday things. So my dad agreed to give some blood for us to look at in the microscope. I'm actually more, I'm probably more nervous than he is. Yeah. <laughs> probably so. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, you ready? Let's, let's make a little blood slide. Yeah. It's not sticking. There we go. Woo. <laughs> so now we have it up on our stand. So let's take a look and see what this looks like under the microscope. Okay. It looks surprisingly like skin. I don't know why, it just looks surprisingly like skin to me. Like the way skin did up close, so that's cool. So we just found this ant in a spider web down in the basement, and we're gonna take a look at that. It's just the paper, oh, paper looks cool up close, but I mean, wow. It's so cool, like you can see all the legs curled up and stuff, and the wings, it's nice. Wow, these are so cool things to look at, like things we just kind of take for granted. If you just put them on this, it's like, whoa, these look really cool up close. Like even paper looks really cool, just the paper behind it. 
looks really cool. And then like there's like this ant. It's wow, wow. So since liquids work really well, like the pond water or my dad's blood, I'm going to try some of my spit. Can't reach it. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, that looks really cool even without the microscope. So I'm excited to see what it looks like with the microscope. Whoa, whoa. Okay, it's not even really. Oh, it's so bubbly. Oh, camera crashed. The camera could not handle how cool it looked. So we're actually going to take the lens off and we're going to take some footage of some of the spit um, with the lens off of it just so you can see the difference and how much it zooms in. And it's just ridiculously cool. I actually really like the way it looks. It kind of looks like something that would be on a soda can. And I actually have to pull it like all the way up here for it to even focus and make something that doesn't look like a white blur. But you can see that even from up here the difference between the zoom, the zoomed in laser pointer lens and just the normal camera lens. So a huge thanks to PBS Digital and Anna Rothschild for this really, really cool experiment. I've actually made a projector, holograms, and now I've made a microscope out of my phone. So there's all sorts of super crazy, really cool science you can do with just a phone screen or a phone lens. Not to mention other things around the house. So there'll be links in the description to where you can check out my holograms and my projector, as well as on the end card. So please do check out this experiment and definitely do it. It is really, really cool. And feel free to send me some pictures in the comments of some of the, your favorite things or tell me what you looked at that you thought was really cool and I can give it a try myself. If you like what we're doing, then please, please subscribe. It really helps us out and I will be forever grateful <laughs> if you subscribe. So yeah, thank you for watching and I see you tomorrow. Bye!